little smart kids. Hi boys and girls, I'm Handy Andy, and this is my little old car. It is such great weather today, it would be great to go to the park. Are you coming with me? Alright, let's start the car and go. Ugh, oh, what happened? Why isn't the car working? Let's see, open the hood. So first we have to check spark plugs. They are in the engine. Spark plugs should make sparks, which sets fire to the gasoline, and that is what starts the engine. If spark plugs are dirty, there won't be a spark. And the car won't start. Let's take the spark plugs out. Sure look dirty. We should clean them carefully and put them back. Let's try to start the car again. Oh no! It isn't working again! Anyway, what next? Okay, here's an idea. Let's check the battery because it might be dead. Yes, I was right. Sure, completely dead. Let's try the charger cables and connect it to the battery. There are special gadget grips for its connection. They are red and black, so it's charging. Look my friends, there are special green lines that show the level of charging. When the whole lines are green, that means the battery is fully charged. We just need a bit more longer. Ready? Let's put the battery back into the car. Hooray! We did it! We started our car and it can take us to the park with no problem now. I'm driving slow because my little car is old. Oops, I hear the sound of a siren behind me. It's the police car. Gotta go a little faster carefully because we should give it the road. If there is a special sound and the lights are on, it means the police are in a hurry to help somebody. Other drivers have to give it the road like we are doing as well. Here is the taxi and also in a hurry somewhere. Okay, I'll give it the road too. Look my friends, this car has a black and yellow rectangle on the roof with the sign Taxi. A taxi is the car that takes passengers to their destined addresses, and passengers pay the taxi driver money for that because that's his job. The taxi and police drove faster and better than me. I feel a bit sad. All cars go so fast, but I go so slow like a turtle. I'll go a bit faster so I don't disturb or upset anyone. We are going faster and faster. Oh, what was that strange sound for? The car has a flat tire. Andy Andy didn't see the road sign that informs about holes on the road. And the old tire burst, kabang. Oh, what can I do now? First thing I should do is turn on the emergency signal lights. Look, the headlights are blinking with a cool orange light. Also, I should put the emergency sign behind my car so other drivers can see that there is some problem on the road. I should probably call the big evacuator transport truck to take my car to the garage. But wait a minute, I have a spare wheel in my trunk. How could I forget it? We can change the flat tire and continue our trip. Silly me. Time to get working. Now to start, we must change the wheel so we will need a car wheel jack. This will elevate the car off of the ground so I can change the wheel. Also, we will need a wrench to loosen the nuts on the wheel. Here it is. Let's start changing the flat tire. Take the car jack, install it under the car on the side of the flat tire. Lift the car a bit. Now use the wrench to loosen the nuts in the flat tire. Take off the flat tire. Look at this huge hole in the inner tube of the tire. I'll see later at home if it can be fixed or not. Now put the spare wheel on instead. 
screw the nuts back on with the wrench and lower the jack, cranking it carefully and steady. Take it out from under the car and put it back into the trunk. Start the car and boom, here we go. We did it. Let's go, my friends. But this time, we won't go fast. We should be very careful on the road to avoid the holes. I don't have another spare wheel. If you don't want to miss any new cartoons, subscribe to our channel. Now I'll keep going in my old car. Nice travels. Drive safe. I'll see you soon.